might get <coughs> and my, my views <coughs> my views on that I'll say some maybe say some controversial stuff um, well I, I do well okay first of all um, okay so here's the thing and, and Hawkins did some great stuff uh, and there's lots of complexities to how you see this but I, I come from the addiction fellowships and um, when you when you use anything in the world okay and here, here's I mean let, let, let's put it back to and it is a bit more complicated like what Ramana what Ramana and Muji said like if you want something outside of yourself to make you feel better um, it's like you, you it's like the ego thinks that if you get this like donut or if you get this drug or if you get this person, you know, <clears throat> it's like you have this kind of thought, like, you know, if I get that, if I get that pill, if I get that donut, if I get that person, then, um, then life's going to be great. You know, I'm going to go into this wonderful experience of love and happiness and connectedness. Or it could be alcohol or vodka or anything. So you have that thought, and then when you, ha when you, when you get the alcohol, when you get the girl, when you get the um, uh, whatever it is, <clears throat> you suddenly have these, and they they are actually spiritual states. You get these temporary, you're, you're catapulted into these temporary spiritual states, which can be very very high, and in fact they they're addictive. So then you end up going to the drink, or to the alcohol, or to. <clears throat> or you might become a serial data or, or, or whatever it is you know you keep going because what happens is that the ego wants it and so you're in this state of not having it and when you have it the ego shuts up temporarily and you're catapulted into these spiritual states and they are actually the states that are experienced are actually the absence of ego for a short period of time and and they can be very they, they are actually spiritual states now, why why do why the different spiritual states like why when you have an ecstasy tablet do you get a certain effect and alcohol another effect and cocaine another effect and donuts another effect or you meet a person another effect well they just like it cuts off certain an, a certain amount of the ego so like an, you know what's quite interesting with ecstasy tablets is that they'll cut off quite a lot of the ego. For a short period of time and so you'll experience what it's like to be connected to God with that much of your ego removed. You're now experiencing a spiritual state of ecstasy. So there are lots of external things which will catapult you into very high spiritual states for a short period of time but they have the potential downside of becoming addictive and therefore you keep going back to that particular way to access those spiritual states. And if you do do that, if you get entrapped in an, in an addiction, then that, that can take you down quite far. Because you keep doing that thing to keep feeling high. So you keep taking the drug, you keep taking the donuts, you keep going for the next date to try and get that experience. But, it, you know, everyone in addiction knows that as you keep going for it, it get, the effect gets less and less and eventually it stops working. So if, you're if you surrender, if you do the spiritual work in the right way, then um, it's not a reliance on something outside of yourself to be in those states, because you're letting go. Now, here's the thing. Um, some spiritual people and practices will use things like drugs as part of it, and that can work. You know that that could work if the alignment and the intention is okay, and is is done in the proper way. But just my personal view, I, I come from an addiction background. I, I prefer not to take drugs or or do rituals in that type of way to access those states. Just because I prefer not to, I prefer just to mm -hmm. surrender. So the thing I was interested in that, that was that was really interesting. But I, the thing I'm particularly interested in is what this. Uh, the friend I recounted their experience. I'm just, I'm kind of, I'm interested in your thoughts on that place or that 
experience. So not like how they got there or whatever, the plant medicine, not that. Yeah. But um, actually the staying of the reality is, you know, this is just the tip of it and then it's actually all about light. And well, that, what, that was my experience. The ultimate reality is, is, is a light so, so incredible that duality cannot exist in it. So, um, so this world is like, when I had the white light spiritual experience with, with Muji, it's like the intensity of the light and the love and the power was, so, was on such a high magnitude that this world cannot exist. It's just impossible for this world to exist with that much light and power. It's like no, no shadow could exist, no person could exist. No color can exist. It's on a it's on a totally different magnitude. So, so this world is like as soon as identification occurs, then you can go into these darker realms of contrast, of a this and a that. You know, like of a me and a you and color and darkness and shade, would have to be, <clears throat> you know, taken down quite a few notches from the absolute light. <clears throat> So in the absolute, the absolute, you know, as you go to these higher realms, uh, you know, there is no duality. It's like it's more like intensity of light increases. And uh, Hawkins would say that's that's the unmanifest. In the unmanifest, which means that there's no duality, manifested duality, then you're in the, pre, you know, the pre-manifest, uh, which is called the Godhead. So the pre-manifest is just the infinite, the infinite power and light, uh, the non-dual infinite power and light. And then, as as there is identification, it's like then the universes and the manifest world come. So as you identify with thought, existence as an individual seems to occur. You know, there seems to be this paradox of separation and individual life being real. Seems seems to come into experiencing. Uh, so, and then if you were to let go of enough of that, then you'd, in a split second, if you could let go of all of identification right now, there'd just be light, you see. The idea of a separate individual and thought and world would just, in a split second, be, vanish. And then how can we live in the world when, I mean, I'm not in that state, but I occasionally get glimpses of something, but how, how does one live in the world if... Well, you know, yeah. I mean, um, Hawkins, Hawkins said um, through his research that on enlightenment, 50%, uh, about 50%, the, the, the consciousness, 50% of the time doesn't return to the physicality. So it just stays in the next realm. And 50% uh, of the time, then it seems the body carries on. On, at the state of enlightenment. So, um, and then there's no individual choosing. So whatever happens is an orchestration of the universe, yes? So there is no chooser or decider of what's happening. It's just an orchestration. From of what's happening, like with that particular question or at any time? In enlightenment, there isn't, there isn't an individual there deciding what to do. Mm -hmm. Making choice mm -hmm. that that has vanished, right. you see. So, like you know, I'm going to think about what I'm going to do tomorrow. That that doesn't exist. So everything is is it's just an unfolding. It's just an unfolding. <coughs> mm -hmm. it's just the universal unfolding. So there isn't a chooser. So on enlightenment, there isn't a chooser. I mean, whatever happens is whatever happens. There isn't anybody there to worry about it. You see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. It's like um, you know, so it's 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 left. So if one is a pure channel, then you know, it, it, to the other individuals, it seems like there's a thinker there talking and deciding what to do, but that's just an unfolding. Yeah, there isn't, there isn't someone there like thinking about what they're going to say and then and planning the future and stuff like that. Is that good?
<laughs> You're still up for enlightenment. <laughs> <laughs>